Welcome to Lizzie You. I'm Sandra Ryerson, and today we're going to be discussing why your thread might be fraying and breaking. So there are many reasons why that might be happening, but a couple of things we really want to talk about first are, is the thread going through smoothly? Is there an area where we have some burrs or sharp edges, something that's happening that things aren't moving smoothly as it's stitching? The other thing might be the batting that we have because when we're stitching through we're creating friction as that needle moves with that thread in there and that friction heats the the needle and the thread and it can cause it to fray and break. So the first thing you want to do is change your needle. That's often the issue is that your needle has begun to get dull and that will cause additional friction. So Every six to eight hours of quilting, you do want to make sure that you're changing your needle. The area on the needle that the thread is riding through, on the front of your needle, there's a groove that the thread goes through. As it is buried in, that helps to protect as it's going through the material. So we want to make sure that we're using the right needle for the right size thread. So that thread weight thickness that we're using needs to be able to slide down that groove and be protected. Now if, the, if that groove is smaller and the thread is thicker, that's not going to be protected anymore. So that will cause that friction and heat things up. So again, check to make sure that you have the thread and needle combination correct. So we have our threading situation. Did we get tangled someplace? Check all the areas on your machine where the thread could possibly get wound around or looped that now is causing an issue. Follow your thread through and see on each area is for some reason did there a, is there a sharp edge. When you get to your tension knob, we want to double check and make sure that the thread is in the disc the way it belongs, but also we want to make sure that there isn't any buildup in those discs. So we want to make sure we clean that out. Again, following through all of the eyes all the way down to ensure that we don't have any rough edges. If you have rough edges, you can take an emery cloth and gently get rid of those rough edges or burrs. Another area that you're going to want to check is your throat plate. And we did a little snippet uh, on how to take your throat plate off and clean around it. That's also a very good time to check and make sure that you don't have any burrs along that throat plate because that also is another area that your thread could be getting frays from. One of the other areas to check is to make sure that your tension on, on your quilt top uh, isn't too tight. We want it firm, but we don't want a trampoline. The other area we want to check is our take-up roller. We want to make sure that our, we're not rubbing tightly on the bed of the machine because, again, this is going to, to cause your needle to deflect a little bit one way or another as it's stitching because it's trying to move and that's going to heat things up and it'll cause a possible fray and break situation. You want to make sure you have a finger width between the roller and your machine. We have a couple of snippets and videos on how to adjust your tension, but that's also another area we want to make sure that we have that tension both on the top and the bobbin correct because that could also cause some fraying. The next thing is our thread. One of the things we want to check is to make sure that our, our thread cone didn't have any thread get caught underneath it or our tree if it's cocked one way or another, may have uh, shown that something got caught and it pulled. Or it could be that your thread is breaking due to deterioration. And we do have a small snippet out on our website talking about how to properly care for your thread. So these are some of the reasons as to why you may have thread fraying and ultimately breaking. Thanks for joining us at Tin Lizzie 18, where we're committed to helping quilters of all levels realize their quilting dreams. Don't forget to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Pinterest. Check out our calendar regularly for upcoming webinars, new videos, and classes. Happy quilting!